Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Nuvatan ISD VP software. I am going to use VP2100 as an example to show you how to make a simple VP project, how to create voice prompts, voice macros, and how to use them for the playback. First, let's take a look on the demo kit which I'm going to use for this tutorial. As you can see, on the left side is the small ISD2100 demo board. It is connected to the ISD dongle board. The dongle board, in turn, can be plugged into your laptop USB port. OK, now, suppose you have a bunch of WAV files. You want to store the sound effect in the ISD device and you want to be able to play them back in the future in your application. Here I'm going to show you how this can be done easily using the demo kit and the VPE. Let's launch ISD VPE 2100. I'm going to create a project from scratch. For that you want to click project, new, select directory. Here we are selecting an existing directory in which our project is going to be created. Let's choose VP demo in D drive. Done. Um, let's type in the project name here. I see 2100 demo project. Okay. Once you click OK, the project is already created in that folder. Let's take a look there. VP demo. It's an empty project though. With a blank project at hand, the first thing you want to do is to add your WAV files. To do that, uh, you want to go to voice prompt panel, add voice prompt. demo wave files at okay you can see once added these wave files are automatically resampled and compressed by the VPE after this we say they became voice prompts now for example let's take a look at this wave file 8.wave once the compression is done, a voice prompt of VP is created with tag name 8 index 3. In the future, we will use this index to access the voice prompt for the playback. Please be aware of that the original WAV files has to be in PCM 16-bit format, mono or stereo. Otherwise, the VP will refuse to take it. Okay, now after we have all the voice prompts ready, we can actually build the image file, then burn the file into the device. After then, we are able to play back these voice prompts and see how they sound like. For that, we want to go to Memory Map panel, click Create a Programming File. Here, most likely you want to click Yes to make sure the project in editing stays consistent with the project file in disk. All right, the programming file has been created. Let's take a look what happened in project folder. This .mem file is the programming file which can be which should be used uh, to program your device. This text file contains valuable information which could be useful for your microcontroller application programming. Uh, you might be interested in checking it out further. Now, I want to burn the image file into the device. Um, 
let you know that the hardware related GUI controls and also uh, two extra panel digital command and the audio command panel only become available when the hardware is presented let, now let me plug in the demo board let's click burn device okay All right, now let's go to audio commands panel, power up the device, double click this path to set up the playback path. Let's choose a VP. Four. Nine. Also, you can issue the SPI command here to play the VP out. For example, A600, I want to play VP index 09. 6, 6, 6. Okay, so far I have showed you how to use voice prompt to do the playback. Next, I'm going to show you how to create a VM and let VM do the same thing. Uh, for that, we need to go to Voice Micro Panel, New A VM, uh, give the VM tag name here, count 1, 2, 5. Okay, the VM has been created, it's empty though. So this window um, we will add the VM command list here. Okay. Let you know uh, this area we uh, we are going to configure the register in this area and add the audio command uh, use this interface here and uh, these are the special command. Okay. First, uh, uh, for example, I want to play back the sound effect at uh, maximum volume so I we I need to configure register the three with zero DB attenuation okay um, next I want to set up the playback path enable decode and uh, enable PDRM path so um, click here to set up the playback path next uh, I can play one two five one, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, let you know that every VM has to end with either power down or finish. Let's use finish here. Okay. So uh, we have one VM created. We can create a programming file again. And then burn the device again. Okay, now we can go to the audio command panel, give it a try. After power up the device, I want to execute the VM we just created. It has index 3. Also, we can choose it and use the command button here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, so far, I have showed you how to make a simple VP project, how to create a VP VM, and how to burn device and evaluate the hardware. 
uh, you can see it's fairly straightforward. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it and find it helpful.